Warning, the following series may involve blood, violence, death, or anything too scary for children under seven. Viewers are at their own risk. From Walking Dead Webkins, viewer discretion is advised. Hi, my name is Greg. I'm a normal teenager. I act how teenagers act. I walk how teenagers walk. I talk like a normal teenager. I have a crush. Her name is Kimberly, but I'm really not going to talk about her that much. But anyways, my father, his name is Matt, and my sister's name is Savannah. The only thing that really isn't normal is our heritage. Ever since the early 1900s, the whole opposite side of Kinsville, where I live, has been run by immortals. Mr. Mars is the founder of this task where boys ages 18 and girls ages 13 enter and they get powers, either for good or for evil. And they turn immortal after that. Thing is, ever since the early 2000s, they aren't immortal anymore. But Mr. Mars is still going to run it every single year. My sister, yes, this is still Savannah. When she was 13... She, okay, before I even get this straight, she's small. I know that. But that was average for our town. She was 13 when she got drafted in. And she wanted to use her powers for good. So her powers got turned into good and she turned into this. Now I know what you're thinking. She got very tall. Yes, that happens. It turns out, what the people don't know, and I'm like the only person who knows this, is that while they're in the games, it actually lasts for three years. Every time. People don't even know it, though. The people that are in it get hypnotized. Only my father tells me this, because he's actually one of them that did not get hypnotized. And my sister, when she came out, she was 16. That explains a lot of things, doesn't it? Well, my school, okay, I go to high school, okay? I get picked on a lot because a lot of the kids, they've already completed the task. And they make fun of the smaller ones that haven't yet. But what we're going to do is when I get through, I'm going to just basically... I'm not going to let them mess with the smaller ones. Because it could always be you. And it just depresses me to see it. Especially the freshmen. They get a lot of it. But anyways. Gregory, are you ready for dinner? Yes, father. Well, you guys, I'll see you next video. Bye. Well, son, do you remember that the draft is next Friday? Yes, Father, I understand. I can't believe you're going to be in the draft. I'm so excited for you to come out. Thanks, Savannah. I'm just very nervous. Oh, son, there's no reason to be nervous. Yep, yeah, some people don't make it out alive. Son, you are the runt of the bunch. You're going to do fine. I know you are.